Hey everybody, it's Scott again. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. Let's kick a prayer. Father our God, Jesus our Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit our protector and companion. Father, we come to you in the deep belief that you're sending your Son, our Savior Jesus, very soon with your kingdom and your judgment. And Lord, we just pray that you help us to continue to stay close to you and your Son, our Savior, and your glorious Holy Spirit, so that we can just keep our eyes open and survive the tribulations and the tough times that are coming our way. We ask these things in our Savior's name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, everybody, I'm going to do a little bit of reading out of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Again, that's 2 Timothy chapter 3. The dangers of the last days. You should also know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times. For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and have no interest in what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride, and love pleasure rather than God. They will act as if they are religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. You must stay away from people like that. <clears throat> they are kind. They are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by many desires. Such women are forever following new teachings, but they never understand the truth. And these teachers fight the truth just as Janus and Jambres fought against Moses. Their minds are depraved and their faith is counterfeit, but they won't get away with this for long. Someday everyone will recognize what fools they are, just as happened with Janus and Jambres. Well, <clears throat> what I get from that, I want to share with everyone, this kind of describes, first few verses kind of describes what it's like in the world today and why it's important for us truther slash Christians to be more diligent in our daily prayer, more diligent in going to our Lord Jesus, confessing our sins, and even more importantly, going to our Lord Jesus, confessing unconditionally that we believe in him, that we believe he died on the cross for our sins, that we unconditionally believed that Heavenly Father raised him from the dead and summoned him back to heaven, and just with every fiber of our spiritual selves, believe unconditionally that Jesus is coming back in this generation with God's kingdom and God's judgment. And we want to be ready. We want to be watchful. We want to make sure that we're not misled by this system and, and the people that are hopelessly plugged in to Satan's system, which we all know, Christians know, devout Christians know, this world today, the system, Satan, our adversary, he's God of this system. And he's going to do whatever it takes to blind as many people and to drag as many people to hell with him and at uh, the final judgment as he possibly can. So we just got to stay devout, keep our eyes open, and, you know, prepare and uh, help each other and support each other and carry the message. And not, you know, me out when I'm out in public, I have no problem saying, you know, Jesus is Savior and he's coming back soon. And, yeah, we're going to get persecuted and people are going to uh, abuse us and scorn us. And it says right here in the Word, you know, we're going to get trashed on. But oh well, you know, a little bit of, little bit of physical human uncomfort uh, for is a small, insignificant trade-off for being with God forever, being in His glory forever. Wow, that sounds cool. I think I'm going to keep working towards that. Well, anyway, you guys, just we know it's coming. We know that we're basically angling ourselves for the final approach to the tribulation and you know follow you know look at all the reference news and christian websites and all the reference material that i have listed in the description box below and go out and study get your relationship with the lord in place develop go to him your relationship with the lord will be just that yours you've got to pray to him to get the truth you've got to pray to him to uh to be educated and to have the holy spirit guide you on your you know your day-to-day -day things and um with that and then also prepare you know stockpile food water medicine 
you know, get ready. Things are going to get really, really tough, even for us Christians, before the rapture. Okay, well, and that's my two cents on that. All right, well, I love everyone. I'm praying for the whole human family that God puts the Holy Spirit in all of us so that we can turn back to him before the tribulation and it's too late. And as always, you know, be safe, stay aware, but most importantly, be prepared. I'm out. Ciao.